Two years ago, I made a video about the art box market in Chewett Park and discovered a really colorful character, Chewett Kamaloas, a gangster, a politician, and a pimp. And all that was by his own admission, and he's now back in the news. The Bangkok Post had a story about him today and a video that took place in the Davis Hotel that Chewett owns, where he was very gruffly and annoyed about pot being sold in the lobby of his hotel. It's being sold there for months. But he's just been, you know, he's just this colorful guy. So I thought I would reprise that video that I made two years ago. I've shortened it up quite a bit. And if you're interested in who true it is, well, here's that old bit. <laughs> I shot that opening video about a year ago here in this space behind me called Art Box. But when I started doing my homework about Art Box to find out, you know, what it was all about, like many things here in Bangkok, when you start looking at it, stories unfold, backstories unfold. It's an interesting place, this Bangkok. You see, this land in 2002 was owned by a gentleman, Chewit Kamaloasit. Chewett can be accurately described as a business tycoon, a gangster, a politician, and a pimp. Now, Chewett, what about Chewett? Chewett, uh, many years ago, owned six giant massage parlors. And I'm not talking massage parlors like this little sidewalk place here. Chewett's massage place was about the size of an American bowling alley, and he had six of them. He employed over 2,000 hookers. And this is where he made his fortune. Chewett also owned the land that was, uh, that Art Box now sits on. At the time, hello girls, so at the cop. Yeah, that's not a Chewett establishment. <laughs> so the land that Art Box sits on now is called Siam Square. And it was a collection of ragtag kiosks and shacks, uh, bars and touts selling tourist items and contraband like knockoff Viagra, stuff like that. In January of 2003, late at night, 600 thugs showed up and razzed the place to the ground. Chewett got arrested for it, for hiring the guys to clear the property. He spent a month in jail. He was pissed. Now, Chewett, quite possibly the world's biggest pimp, was also not a dumb guy. He actually has an MBA from the University of San Diego. And he was really good at keeping books. When he got out of jail, he exposed the high-ranking police officials that he had been bribing for 10 years for the tune of about 160,000 US dollars a month extreme political hubbub ensued. To shorten up the story of Chewett, he wound up running for governor of Bangkok. He had formed his own political party. He lost the governorship race, but he eventually won a seat on the Thai House of Representatives. The Thai Supreme Court removed him, but there are still four people currently in place in the Thai House of Representatives from the party that he created. Clever guy, I'd say. At any rate, Chewett wanted to change his imagery, image from bad boy pimp to something a little bit more positive, and he spent $3 million renovating Siam Square into Chewett Garden or Chewett Park, which is this beautiful manicured green space in the center of the Sukhumvit area in Thailand. That's the property that Art Box now sits on. Chewett built Chewett Park as a way of atoning or making merit, as Buddhists would say. He wanted to re-image himself as, a, as an anti-corruption kind of guy. And he made this beautiful green space here where people could go and relax in the center of chaotic Bangkok. About a year ago, Artbox popped up on, on the space. 
can't tell you the exact date. That was hard to find. I spotted it a year ago. That's when I went and spent an evening in there in the clip that I showed you earlier. It turns out that in 2017, Chewett sold this property to a property management company for $160 million. There are now plans that property management company made a deal with Concept Thailand or Concept Bangkok, which is a Marriott company. And now there are approved plans in place to build a very expensive high-rise luxury hotel on this spot. So true, it's merit making a uh, paid a nice dividend. Today, Art Box and Truett Park are long gone, and it is now a construction site where they are furiously building a high-rise hotel, I'm presuming. I haven't uh, done any recent research, but I'm presuming that the owners of, uh, of that space are building the luxury hotel that they had postponed the building of because of the lockdowns and all of that. Well, it's on its way up. So we will have another high-rise space in the Sukhumvit area of Bangkok soon. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.